Okay, we're back at our home base here in Paramus. We're just back from Grandma's house where we clip our greens. We did a family project, walked around. This is our white pine. What we have here is a wreath that we made up earlier, and we're going to fill it in with some more greens. Julianne and I are going to gently put some nice white pine in here to add a little contrast and a little bit of a plethora of different greens in our arrangement. <laughs> This is our, our blue spruce, freshly cut this morning. And what I'm doing is I'm gently dipping it in a pan of glue. The glue was melted in one of these frying pans, and that'll hold the greens into the wreath. We have some more blue spruce here. Juliana's helping me. Come on, Jules. Clippers, put these. Can you dip that into the glue? I Just a little bit, a little bit. A little bit more. Dip me a little more. What the glue is going to do is hold the greens into the arrangement. I have a little bit of holly right here. You remember the holly tree we cl clipped? Oh, oh, Jules has a little bit of white pine. And what we're doing is we're just dressing this wreath up to be a little bit nicer. These are all clippings from around the yard, so nothing was wasted in the yard. We did two things at one time. We trimmed our trees, and we're also using the clippings for our arrangements and our wreath here. And you can use this on almost anything. You can make table arrangements, you can make Christmas wreaths, you can make uh, mantle pieces, all with these greens from around your yard. Nice family project for the day. How's it look, Jules? Good. Mm -hmm.